hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will make the hell bar rotate around the player main camera so for now we have just added a hell bar to this zombie only okay just don't copy and paste this into the other zombies for now because we need to add a script to this zombie UI so let's uh, in the scripts folder let's create a script by the name of rotate health bar UI and click on this zombie UI drag and drop the script now let's open the script and in here what we want to do is simply we need a reference to our main camera first of all so we will say public transform main camera and after that in the late update we will simply move that object to which this rotate hand bar UI script is attached and we will move that towards the main camera okay so we will say transform dot look at we will get the transform of that object which contain the script and then we will rotate that towards the main camera so we will say main camera dot forward okay and this was just a basic script save it now get back to unity now let's drag and drop the main camera in here and now this will rotate around the player main camera and actually let's quickly add this to the other zombies as well for adding this what we will do let's make a prefab out of this and then click on prefab and unpack, unpack completely now okay once we once we do that now let's click on zombie 2 and actually on the zombie 2 script let's attach the help bar as well so open this up and right here we will do the same as we did for the zombie 1 so let's go on the top first we need a reference to the help bar so right here we will add the reference then we need to add the maximum value to the help bar so let's copy that paste that in here okay the variables are the same and then let's come right here copy that and when we damage the zombie right here we will call that okay save it get back to unity now now as you can see it needs a reference so first of all as you know we uh, created a prefab for the zombie UI let's drag and drop this inside the zombie 2 and now as you can see on top of the zombie 2 head it shows the player help bar so this is just an easy step instead of making a duplicate copy of this and then dragging and dropping that from there okay just make a prefab out of it and then if you want to add it to the zombie 2 just drag and drop this inside the zombie 2 main game object now here is the help bar for the zombie to add this main camera there and then click on this zombie 2 we need to add the help bar there so simply drag and drop the help bar right there okay we have added it to zombie 2 now let's click on zombie 3 here it is let's uh, let me minimize that and maximize this zombie 3 let's Try and drop this. Okay, there is the help bar. Click on prefab, unpack completely. Click on zombie 3, add this help bar, and then click on zombie UI and add the main camera there. After this, we need to add it to zombie 4 as well. So, drag and drop this inside zombie 4. Prefab, unpack completely, add the main camera, then click on zombie 4 and at the help bar okay and that is it and also as you know that we have this zombie 2 prefab as well so we need to add that on these zombies as well so actually what we can do we can delete this prefab now and then we can create a prefab of this zombie 2 again okay so just simply drag and drop that in there 
here is the prefab let's click on prefab and back completely and then click on the zombie 2 then in the spawn points you need to add that but first let me make the radius of the zombie 500 okay save it now in the spawn point we need to add this okay whoops it is added right there we don't want that to be there okay. let me delete that let's focus up on the spawn point here it is the spawn point let's set this zombie there and then drag and drop this inside the spawn point and also click on zombie one as you can see it is missing the zombie prefab so let's simply drag and drop that in there and the reason we added this to our scene is because as you can see when we call this prefab it just make the loop point and the player body missing so that's why we are adding this to the hierarchy and then for the player body we will add the player body and for the loop point we will add the loop point and that is it so now if we play the game you will notice that now the hand bar will rotate towards the main camera Okay, we have missed that, I think right here, okay, <laughs> we need to add that as well. So on the zombie UI, we need to paste that in there, let me change it, we have what we already assigned, that's it. Let's play it again. Okay, now it don't show any error, let's pick up the right thing. Now as you can see the help bar rotates towards the main camera, you will notice it. As you can see the help bar is rotating towards the main camera. As you can see when we rotate the help bar rotate as well. Let me go up here. Okay, we have killed this zombie and this zombie is gone. Guys, if you notice our zombie uh, hell bar was showing away from the zombie. Okay, so in order to fix that, uh, let me go inside the scene view. Okay, here it is. As you can see there, it shows the zombie white, but right here it shows the hell bar. So we don't want that. What we will do instead of this, is to simply create a UI canvas let's change this to world space okay there is the canvas change it to world space and then let's drag and drop this inside the zombie 2 okay our zombie is right here now let's try and drop the canvas to our zombie 2 okay like this and then move it there okay it shows the canvas there so it inside the front okay and we don't want it inside the front we want it outside the front Okay, now here is the new canvas. Let's drag and drop this canvas on top of the zombie head. Whoops, let me do that. Okay, right here, let's bring it a little bit up and this end. Okay, just put it right there. Here is the canvas now. And what we will do, we will simply take the help bar, help bar from the zombie UI inside this canvas. And let's name this canvas as zombie UI. 
okay and we can actually delete that other one but we need to copy the script from there just delete that and now add the script right there now as you can see both of these are in the same place it is just straight right up and down but that's okay now it will look good like this okay here is the only two now if we play the game you will notice that this zombie 2 will help bar will be correct and the other help bar will be not. Let's run towards the zombie and you will notice that the zombie 2 help bar is correct on top of the set and the other enemy help bar is fading away from that zombie. So now let me close that and now let's do the same for the other ones. And in order to do that in the prefabs delete this zombie UI now and actually we can now make a prefab of this zombie UI okay and then what we can do we can actually just let's just remove that from there and now in the zombie 3 let's add this okay now as you can see it is showing perfectly add the main camera there and then in here okay the help bar is already added and do the same for the zombie 4 remove this and drag and drop that in here oops okay <laughs> let me remove that put it there and then back completely let's add the main camera and actually let's do the same for the prefab as well so here is the prefab let actually open this up so with the prefab open it right here is the zombie y remove that zombie y and add this one now then click on unpack completely then we need to add the main camera but we will do that when we go back right here now let's click on it and drag and drop that in here okay now everything is set up let's play the game it still show an error but let us test out this Okay, now as you can see the help bar is showing on top of the zombie head. So it means that it is working now. Let me close this. Let's check. Okay, we need to add the help bar in these places. Let's set that there. Okay. And there and the zombie 2 okay it is already added and zombie 1 then it is added as well let's check the zombie this one okay it is added and let's check this one let's try and lock that in there now it will not show this error okay and with this done, see you guys in the next video.